Hello everyone, Ashish here. Welcome to UFT training. Fine. So we'll be starting up with the basics of UFT, how to install it, why is it necessary and how is it how has it evolved over a period of time. Right. And we we'll looking we'll be looking at the various uh, aspects of UFT, how to install it in the correct manner because at times people come to us and tell tell us that UFT is not working or something like that. Right. So let's let's look at it, let's look at step by step. Fine. The first thing is that uh, earlier in the market the name was uh, QTP. Everybody must be knowing this, right? Now it's known as UFT. QTP was still version 11. UFT is uh, version 12. Okay. Practically there are differences, but there are not major differences. If you learn on QTP, you can easily pick up UFT as well. That is not a problem. Okay. Now let's look at the first thing, which at times people ask, what is uh, QTP or what is UFT and the basic thing when do we need to use it okay when do we use these tools and what are these tools basically look the thing is um, everybody knows that these days the projects are becoming complex okay you have to test them uh, after every build okay after every build is made the, the project has to be tested and especially in the agile methodology where after every sprint things have to be tested again and again right so for these things right and especially for the projects which are stable in the regression phase in the projects in which you know that there aren't be many bugs okay you really don't want to spend time testing the same thing again and again suppose you have got 10,000 stable test cases you don't, don't want to do that again and again so for that we use automation we, we have various automation tools available in the market and one of them is UFT. It is one of the best tools. Okay, but it's a paid one. It uses VB scripting as the language. In this training, I'll be covering VB scripting. Okay, so let's start with the first module. Fine. This is the website qtpselenium.com and we'll be looking at the first module now that is in, uh, QTP fundamentals. Okay, and the reason why we use uh, QTP or UFT is basically I explained you to carry to automate the test cases which you want to test again and again fine so how to install this tool how to download and install the trial version fine it comes up with a 30 days trial initially okay so you go to Google fine all you need to do is that you don't need to go to Google and type over here download UFT fine the first link from HP website hp.com right go to this first link uh, software solutions unified functional testing automation okay and over here click on free trial all right download the UFT from here it's a pretty heavy download right 3 to 4 GB fine you'll have to fill up this form the complete form and click on continue you will get an email with the download link or you will get the download link di directly in the website as well so you can download it using the download manager fine now uh, moving ahead okay after downloading what you need to do okay uh, hold on I'll just tell you I have the software with me I'll install it right away in front of you okay uh, this is UFT 12 which I had downloaded okay you will see setup.exe fine you need to run the setup.exe and select the first link unified testing uh, unified functional testing setup okay now initially what happens is that uh, access Microsoft access database and visual C++ and all these are installed before installing UFT these softwares are installed so you install them fine hold on it's getting installed so just be with me right I want to take you through this process because you know, at times people they get a little confused and at times they make mistakes in installation as well fine if you make an installation mistake that can be uh, taxing for you right so just hold on be with me let it uh, initialize the process okay hold on right and here, here is it. It is initializing everything. Just a minute. Hold on. So it installs Microsoft Visual C++ first. Okay. Right. And 
see uh, click on next and accept the agreement next now these are the various add-ins uh, add or you can say plugins with available with UFT okay there is a flex add-in if you want to test flex based applications you can install this okay ALM add-in is for uh, quality, quality center find ALM QC right by default these four add-ins are there if you are new to this tool okay don't install other add-ins you can even install these after installing UFT it doesn't you know it doesn't mean that if you just click on next and you skip some of the add-ins you will be gone you will never be able to install it it's, it's not like that you'll be able to install it but at a later stage right so there's a SAP solutions add-in Siebel add-in right now let me click on next okay I'll click next out here and I'll say install fine so what will happen is that it will install this hold on hold on hold on yeah meanwhile it installs okay it, it, it's, it, it's installing UFT let's look at the uh, topics which you were doing fine now I'll take up the installation topics later on meanwhile it's installing let it install the basic thing is what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, QTP or UFT fine so this is also one of the uh, things which you need to know before you start up with it look advantages are very good fine if you use any other tool like selenium to automate right selenium is another famous tool in the market right now Selenium with Selenium, one of the major problems with testers is that they have to learn the programming language. But Selenium is open source. Okay, QTP is a paid tool. QTP uses VB scripting. VB scripting is easier as compared to Java. Okay, but don't think that QTP will be easier to learn as compared to Selenium. Both of them are equally bad. If you if you want to uh, get the question, get the answer to your question, which tool is good and easy to in learn? there is no tool in the market which is good and easy to learn if you actually have to work at an enterprise level where you have to build up frameworks and projects okay everything is quite complicated at that stage so you have to uh, take the decision not on the basis that which one is easier to learn okay the advantage of UFT is that over selenium that VB script is little easier than Java right and secondly if you have to develop a script in UFT and if you have to develop a script in Selenium or any other tool the time taken in developing the script in UFT or QTP is much lesser okay it's uh, the user interface is quite easy to manage and the time taken to build the complete script and the complete bundle is very very less as compared to uh, other tools fine the disadvantage of UFT is that first of all it's a paid tool not everybody can afford it right secondly the thing is it works on uh, windows as of now okay although they are saying that they are supporting mac or something like that I, I, no, I never tested that actually fine but on windows primarily VB, VB is the language which is for windows on windows it is working per, it works perfectly fine and it's a flawless tool okay fine how much VB scripting is required to learn look you cannot run away from VB scripting because if you work on advanced UFT or advanced QTP like descriptive programming and all you have to learn VB scripting uh, in a very advanced manner right for example in the first uh, seven modules of this training I have explained VB scripting regular expressions and all everything I have explained fine so from QTP starts from seventh module basics of UFT they start from seventh module till 7th module I have first 6 modules are basically on VB scripting because you know when you go to advanced QTP over here from module 22 onwards descriptive programming and all this is completely VB scripting you cannot just run away from uh, a VB alright fine now which application will we test look we, we will be looking at various types of applications web as well as desktop based ok fine uh, at times people come and ask me that fine do you only teach on that flight simulation application which comes up along with uh, UFT fine wherever you have installed UFT 
in your uh, PC like it's not installed on my PC as of now a flight application also comes up most of the people in the market train on that application and sometimes people really ask me that I don't want to be trained on that application look we will be training on you on different types of web as well as desktop based application and flight application would be a part of it okay we won't actually go on to that application from end to end but it will be one of the parts but yes we will take up a lot of practical and live examples which people face right while detecting objects while making scripts and especially while uh, building up the frameworks which are over here okay data driven framework hybrid framework which is a mixture of keyword and uh, data driven fine so meanwhile yeah it's almost done okay right so complete completed the hp unified functional testing setup wizard now i don't want to reopen read me and click finish right now once it's over hold on on your desktop you will see hp unified functional testing icon okay right now along with that along with that hold on uh hold on let me go to the location where it's installed right so you will see that uft would be installed at this location okay and uh, you'll have to go to all programs there are few more uh, things which you need to do right after going to all programs you will see that hp software would be over here click on that and under this you go to tools now these are various tools which gets in, which get installed after installing uft for example a simple tool like password encoder which will help you to encode your password right if you don't want anybody to see your password or a silent test runner or test batch runner which helps you to execute your tests in batch i'll talk about all of these fine if you look at this um, hp uft uh, hold on where is that additional installation requirements fine click on this right and you will have all these options configure internet explorer settings configure dcom settings for ala alm uh, qc and configure dcom settings for automating automation scripts check the last uncheck the last one okay and check the first three ones and click on run right let them install okay let them install and close it fine so this is required all right you later on you will realize uh, why this is required okay now after installing uft fine if you open uft if you double click on this you will see that uft will open it it's coming up with a 30 days uh, trial version you click on continue over here and check on both these check boxes these are the add ins fine remember these add ins we had installed when we were installing uft fine and i selected these add ins to be installed right so they, those add ins will would come up over here in add in manager right now one more thing guys when you start up uft never click on install license okay never click on install license otherwise validity would go away for the trial fine click on continue and click on okay fine and you will see that uft will be in starting up in some time fine it starts up okay this is the start page you can close it you can close this page as well for time being fine and file new you have you have got various new things which you can do over here it's the ui is very different from qtp 11 okay but more or less things are same fine if you are at a beginner level you can learn at any particular version that that doesn't really make a difference right if i create a new test over here suppose a new test case fine and i select a new gui test and i give the test name as sample fine so a new test would be created in uft fine now every automation tool has a feature of record and run okay every automation tool has a feature of record and run 
Now there is a sample tab over here. There is action one tab over here. Select this action one. You you can actually write some code over here. Over here we will be writing the VB scripting. We will be doing the VB scripting over here. Fine. Okay. Now as I was telling you, every automation tool has a record and run feature. Similarly, UFT also has got a record and run feature. This is the record button F6. Fine. All right. If you click on it, open your eye, it will start recording. Fine. But before that, okay, it, UFT will not directly record on your PC. You have to do some settings, right? The settings are: you have to turn off user account settings, right? You have to change the user account uh, control settings. Fine. You click on this and make sure that UAC is off. Turn off UAC, that is user account control. You have to turn it off. Only then UFT will work properly on your machine. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, right. So this is introduction to UFT. How will you record on your browsers and all? And if you want to further troubleshoot recording and all, you can look at uh, this module over here, module number seven, basics of uh, UFT. It's again a free module for everyone. anybody can look at it right and that will that will give you a better idea okay how we work with you fine so now the next thing before i actually open a browser start recording start testing an application the important thing first is vb scripting you need to learn this language okay so let's start with that the next module is on vb scripting fine and later on i'll come back to qtp or uft and i'll start telling you the various features on this Okay